don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna do it again. Hi, hello, it's your girl Dami. Welcome back to another video. Today I woke up at like 11 o'clock. <laughs> But I set my gym clothes out last night, which is an indication that I meant to go to the gym this morning. So, I figured that since I'm going to go to the gym anyway, but I'm not going to go to the super crowded one that I normally go to, um, that you guys can come along with me and we can do like a little workout routine together. Because, you know, I've been on my fitness lately. So, I'm going to get dressed and we're going to go to the gym. <laughs> All right, we made it to the gym. There's surprisingly no roaches in here today. Very nice. I wanna show you guys my little work outfit real quick because it's very cute. I have this top, it's from Aletha Athleta. I'm not sure the pronunciation, but I thrifted it. I got it from ThreadUp and it's very comfortable. It has a built-in bra and everything. Very nice. My shorts are from Airy per usual. We got pockets. I cannot function without pockets in the gym. That's just the hill I will die on. And then I have my Nikes. I used to wear these as like casual Nikes, but now I actually wear them to work out in. So, you know, we, we, we shift in the mindset around here. So uh, yeah, but I'm about to do my little warm up and get the workout started. Oh, I'm like excited but nervous. All right, y'all, so my warm-up usually consists of me doing some type of walking on the treadmill, not too much, nothing too heavy, just enough to get my heart rate up, you know, start working on a good sweat. Then I go into my dynamic stretching. I make sure to do dynamic stretching, whether it's arm day, leg day, core day, but especially leg day because you really, really need to move those muscles before you start going for real. And I used to be someone who didn't stretch before workouts, but look at me, look at me. I needed that stretch. Look at my face, baby. I was struggling. Yes. So if you are someone who doesn't stretch before workouts, this is your sign. Look up some stretches. Okay. Because girl, look at my face. I, <laughs> I needed that stretch. Look like, look, okay. Yeah. Y'all, please stick with me here for these next stretches. I swear they're actually useful. I'm not just tooting that thing up, okay? This is actually to engage your core, okay? Don't, don't unfollow, please. All right, now I'm hyping myself up and the actual workout is starting. So I cannot remember each and every one of these workout names, but I will pop them up on the screen for y'all. I think this is like a kettlebell throw or something like that. All I know is that it's really good at engaging my core. I also get like a really decent squat in there. I honestly feel like this is more of like a full body workout for me than just a core workout the way it's advertised. Um, but I just might be engaging all the muscles that I have literally never used before in my life, which is why it feels like a full body workout. But listen, that do that if you if you want to feel it burn okay and now this one whoo this will challenge both your balance and your core so you're holding the kettlebell up in the air as you can see and you are you, you, you do the motion with your leg okay y'all I'm not a fitness expert I am just here to show you what I do all right I'm showing y'all how I'm getting thick and fine all right, so yeah, these are really hard, um, but like in a nice, fun, challenging way. And as you can see, I I'm tired. <laughs> Look at my face. Then of course you get a follow up on the other side and y'all, <laughs> this exercise, it do what it do, okay? Because I immediately felt my core just burning, all right? And I I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to do, so. Like I said, it do what it do. The job is getting done, whether I like it or not. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm doing it again. Ah! Okay. 
All right, I do actually know the name of these. These are kettlebell marches. Uh, so essentially you just stand in one place while you hold the kettlebell. And while it might look like it's a very easy exercise because you're just lifting your legs up to your chest, right? But no, you're trying to get your legs as high as you possibly can while keeping your core engaged. I should have showed y'all from the other side so you could see how like how flat I'm trying to keep my back, but yeah, that is also a really good core exercise. Now, these are around the world, I believe they're called. I try to do these for about um, 20 to 30 seconds, sometimes longer if I can maintain it, but you just go um, clockwise and then counterclockwise and keep your core engaged the entire time. All right, let me take an AirPod out so I'm not screaming at y'all. So if y'all are wondering where I get my workouts from, I tend to get them from either YouTube or TikTok University. Although I have like the gold or the pro membership at Planet Fitness, I've just been too nervous. <laughs> I've been too nervous to actually take advantage of having the personal trainer, mainly because I thought the trainer was real fine at first and I was like, I can't work out in front of him. Um, but then he had a haircut, so we broke up. But that that's neither here nor there. I haven't used the personal trainer, so I've been using internet university tools. Um, and honestly, I feel like they're working. <sighs> Today is core day um i try to i'm trying to incorporate more core workouts because i've noticed that i have no core strength at all whatsoever i have the abdomen of an underdeveloped newborn baby <laughs> so i've been trying to have at least one core day a week that's something i incorporated um last month in august and i feel like it's getting better rdls used to literally take me the fuck out and honestly I, I'm still a little tired, but I mean, that's like what, that's what working out is supposed to do. It's supposed to tire you. You're supposed to, you know, feel good and energized after, but you're going to be tired during if you're doing it right, you know? So RDL still tired me, but they do not leave me knocked out for 32 hours the way they used to. Um, and I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit, you know, of a, of a more snatched waist. Um, my waist is naturally just smaller than the rest of my body because I, you know, I got a fat ass and I got big titties. So <laughs> my waist is just like naturally smaller, but uh, I feel like I can, I'm starting to be able to like see it a little bit. So that makes me feel really good and proud and happy for myself. Uh, but yeah, so whew, I just took a little break because I needed a little break, but we're about to get back to it. This portion is where I usually just do some version of 12, 3, 30. Um, I think I was going at six incline, three speed, and I just do that for 30 to 45 minutes, just enough to kind of keep my heart rate up. But I, of course, make sure that I do a cool down after this, because at this point, my heart rate has been elevated for at least 30 minutes, however long I've been working out. Then once again, your girl has to finish with stretches, y'all. I cannot stress how important stretching is when you start working out regularly. Actually, just any form of like physical activity, you should be stretching, all right? Because our muscles need to be warmed up. I know someone's gonna be watching this who knows me in real life is gonna be like, you're such a hypocrite. Like, yes, bitch, I am, okay? Because that Charlie horse really changed my life. Please stretch, please. Hi, we are back home. That workout kicked my ass and I feel like it's really what I needed. I was feeling very like sluggish and just like really slow to start my day today. But now it is thoroughly afternoon. It's almost one o'clock and I feel a lot better. And honestly, <laughs> I've been so hesitant to like call my new like working out like a fitness journey um, mainly because like I've been trying to just like change my lifestyle overall like I didn't want it to be another like fitness kick or like start a fad diet or anything like I just want to feel good and obviously losing weight is always like good and nice and you know supposedly very good for your health <laughs> but like 
I'm working out because I feel good afterwards like right now even though I'm tired I know that as soon as like I take a shower do my skincare and like eat food like I'm gonna feel so good because I got up and I moved my body for me today and like that is that honestly is worth so much more to me than just like losing weight to lose weight and yeah so I just wanted to say that because I know that people will see someone like me with my body moving and they're always like oh my gosh wow this girl is so inspirational like I love your confidence like just because I'm fat and like no baby <laughs> it's not that kind of channel all right I love myself thoroughly like whether I'm in this body or a smaller body like I'm gonna love me regardless because I know that I'm worthy of love inside and outside and quite frankly I already think I'm super fucking hot even while being fat so if I get a fat ass on top of that, it's over for you hoes. So honestly, don't hype me up too much. Don't hype me up too much. But yeah, I just had to say that because honestly, as much as I hate to admit it, moving my body has just made me feel so much better and it's made me have like at least a little bit better of an outlook on life in general because I'm like, hey, the world might be burning to a fucking crisp right now, but at least I got my work out. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. But seriously though, I hope that if anyone is watching this and they just needed a little bit of encouragement to actually move their body for them, I hope this served that purpose for you because I really just got up this morning and I was like, I don't feel like doing shit. And then I was like, but I'm gonna do something for me. So that's what I did. And I hope that this can rub off on somebody else because moving your body should be more purposeful than just to lose weight. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did because I would love to like make a workout series or something because I've been getting a little more spicy in the gym when I go to like the actual gym. So I would love to like bring you guys along if you guys wanna see that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help you grow out right here on the channel. And I hope that everyone is happy, healthy, and thriving. I will see you in the next one. Bye.